Wednesday was supposed to be a day of celebration for Ali Bongo. Gabon's election authority declared him the emphatic victor of Saturday's presidential election. Now, saying they represented the armed forces, military officers, they declared on TV that the poll results were cancelled, borders closed and state institutions were dissolved. Here's a look at what's happening in Gabon and Africa's coup wave. Gabon military officers named General Bryce Ligwe Nguema as the country's new leader. From detention in his residence, Ali Bongo appealed in a video statement to foreign allies imploring them to seek out on his and his family's behalf. He said that he did not know what was happening. Hundreds of people celebrated the military's intervention, on the other hand, in the streets of the Gabonese capital. The Gabon officers also said that they had arrested the president's son, Bongo Valentin, and others for corruption and treason. Bongo took over in 2009 on the death of his father, Omar Bongo, who had ruled since 1967. The opponents say the family had done little to share the state's oil and mining wealth with its 2.3 million people. Violent unrest broke out after Bongo's contested 2016 election victory. The Central African state witnessed a foiled coup attempt in 2019. Who is General Bryce Ligwe Nguema now? Here's all you need to know about that. General Nguema loyally served the Central African country's long-time strongman before turning on his son in Wednesday's military takeover. Nguema won his purse as an aide-de-camp to ousted leader's father, Omar Bongo. Remember, Omar Bongo ruled Gabon with an iron fist for almost 42 years until his death in 2009. Nguema was moved aside in 2009 after Ali Bongo was elected to succeed his father, beginning a 10-year stint as the military attaché at Gabon's embassies in Morocco and Senegal. He returned to prominence in 2018 as the Republican Guard's intelligence chief, replacing Ali Bongo's half-brother, Frederic Bongo. He was promoted to a general six months after becoming Republican Guard's intelligence chief. And Guayma pushed Bongo Jr. to improve his men's working and living conditions by upgrading their facilities, funding schools for soldiers' children and also refurbishing some accommodations. Nguema said Bongo has now been placed in retirement but did not set a timeline for a transition back to civilian rule, shrouding his intentions in doubt. Gabon is now the sixth former French colony to be taken over by military leaders since 2020. Gabon's former colonial ruler has troops stationed there. Across West and Central Africa, democratically elected presidents and allies of France have been deposed by militaries exploiting a crisis of trust in government institutions. Like many of the countries in the region, Gabon has maintained close relations with France, yet in recent years, dissatisfaction with French political and economic influence in former colonies that has grown. And if successful, Wednesday's coup in Gabon would be the eighth in Western Central Africa in three years. The other seven have one thing in common, none have succumbed to international efforts to overturn them. As per analyst, Africa's coup wave shows little signs of stopping now.